Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to create this simple digital planner within OneNote. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm here to tell you all about the things I love. I hope something that I share will spark a light in you, too. So first in OneNote, I'm going to remove the date, and right-click the page, and set it as the default template. That way every page I make will not have a date on it. Then going into Google Calendar, I'm going to switch to the year view. Using Windows Shift S, I can select and drag to highlight the area I want to take a screenshot of. Move back to OneNote, I'll name my page, and then use Control V to paste in my image. I'll right click, set picture as background, and remove the text box. Going back into Google Calendar, I'm going to switch to the month view. Using the settings wheel, I'm going to click Go to print. The right dates are selected, so I'll click print. Make sure OneNote for Windows 10 is selected. Print. And then I go back to OneNote and select the section I want to drop that image into. Right click, rotate, set picture as background, remove the text container, and name my page with the month. I could repeat these same steps for each of the remaining months, or I could go in and print from February through December by changing the end date. I will print this to OneNote just like before. This time all 11 remaining months will end up on one page vertically. So I will use control to click and select all of the month pages. Once they are all selected, I will right click and rotate the page. I do not want to set them as a background here because I want to give them their own page. So I'm going to add 11 pages, one for each month. And then using control X, I will select each month and then on the new page, I will control V to paste them down. I will also rename each page so that I can easily see which month is on each page. And I'll continue this for the 12, for the 11 remaining months. Once each month has its own page, I'll go back through each one, right click and set the picture as the background. Once all my months are ready, I'm ready to add in my weekly planner template. I made mine in PowerPoint, so first I want to export it as a PDF. I will be printing this PDF to OneNote, so you can use any other file that you already have that you want as your weekly template. In OneNote, I will create my page for the weekly template and I decided just to name it weekly. Then I will go to insert, print out, and I will navigate on my computer to find my file. Then I will open it. It will put, paste in an image and a link to that file. I'm going to remove the link to the file and I'm actually going to move my template up a little bit. Then I will right click and set it as a background. Now, I want to be able to easily add this template, so I'm going to go over to the page name, right click it, and set it as my template for this section now. Then I'll drag some of them under January. I like to set up just about a month at a time because I tend to like to change my planning templates fairly frequently. Now comes the fun part. I want to add in images to reflect special and important dates throughout the year. So I'm going to use a website called The Noun Project. This site has icons and photos that you can use 
for free as long as you provide attribution to the creator. And the great thing is when you download these images, it will save that attribution right onto the image. You can also pay to be able to use them without attribution and to change the colors. But for me, I'm gonna find an image I like for each holiday, download it as a PNG. This will make it so that the background of the image is clear. So even though there'll be a lot of kind of space around the image, you won't really notice it because the calendar will be able to see through the edges. Then I'm going to insert it as a file and drag it to the correct day. I'm gonna do this for each holiday in the year. Now that my holidays are all noted, I wanna add the dates onto my weekly pages for January. So using my January calendar, I can see what day it starts on and it's a Saturday. So then I'm just gonna go through with my pen tool and number the dates for all of January inside of my weekly templates. Now that the days are all numbered, I'm going to rename the title of each week page. That way I can easily see at a glance what day falls into which week. Lastly, I'm gonna go back to my month. I'm gonna copy over the images for important days and I'm gonna put them on the corresponding daily part of my weekly page. Now that the shell of my planner is all set up, I'm ready to dive into planning what I need to and want to do each week. Feel free to like and subscribe if you learned something new and want to learn more about OneNote.